Hey, what's going on, guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. A few weeks ago, I actually scored this little sucker here. This is a Lenovo MP93 Tiny PC. This one here has a Haswell i5 4570T CPU clocked at 2.9 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 500 gigabyte hard drive. No operating system was installed on it. Just wanted to show you, you know, how big it really is. It's pretty tiny for a nice computer. Now the GPU is a built-in Intel HD 4600. It's not that bad though. Since I don't have Windows installed on this drive here, I'm gonna go ahead and install a Linux operating system called Solace. Just wanna show you what's inside of here. We have eight gigabytes of RAM. Nice little cooler here. It actually keeps that i5 pretty cool. Nothing much else going on. It's just a really tiny form factor x86 platform. The power supply does add a little extra bulk, and if you come across one of these on Craigslist, make sure they have the power supply with it. I'm going to be replacing this 500 gigabyte spinner with a 60 gigabyte SSD so I can install Solace on it. Now, I know this isn't the most powerful machine in the world, but it's really tiny, and I want to see how it performs with Dolphin, PSP, N64, and things like that. I could always do Windows, but I already have four Windows machines. I want something a little bit different. So I just went ahead and installed the SSD. I could buy a mini PCI adapter that has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in, but I already have these adapters here. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and a display port to HDMI because this has a display port and VGA on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in and then we're gonna boot this thing up. I have Solace installed on this SSD and it should run pretty good. Okay guys, so here's Solace OS. I know a lot of you are like, why didn't you run Windows? Well, because I have four Windows PCs. I have two Macs, I have a Linux machine. I wanted something a little bit different. Now this is Solace OS, it is Linux. On Wikipedia, they call it a Unix-like operating system. I can definitely see the resemblance between this and Mac. This is one of the most beautiful operating systems that I've ever seen. This does use Budgie for the interface here. You can download a version with GNOME and Mate, there's a few others, I believe, also, but I love this version here. They do have a dedicated software downloader in here. It's the Software Center. Pretty much anything you'll ever need is going to be in here. So first up, it comes pre-built with Firefox, and, I mean, it runs amazing. There's nothing that doesn't work on here for me. One of the best things is, inside of their Software Center, we're going to drop down, go to Games, I was able to download RetroArch, PPSSPP, and the Dolphin emulator. So I'm going to go here first. And I'm just going to run Soul Calibur 2 real quick. I have configured it. It's not going full screen because I don't have it set up that way. It probably should have. But I do have my FPS listed up in the top left-hand corner. So this runs that i5 CPU with the HD 4600 GPU built in. Not very powerful, but... On this operating system, Dolphin actually performs better within Linux than it does in Windows. So even 50 FPS on GameCube is totally fine with me. We do hit 60. I do have VSync turned on, but um, as you can see, it is dropping down. Not bad for a built-in GPU. Now I know if I had a newer processor, it'd probably work a lot better, but I bought this whole unit with everything inside of it for a hundred bucks. I couldn't beat it. Now it didn't come with an operating system on the 500 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, that came with it, but I can install Windows 10, I can install Windows 7, anything really. I just wanted to throw this SSD in here and show you guys Solace running. So I'm going to close this down, and I'll stop that. We're going to start up PSP, go full screen with it, and God of War, Chains of Olympus. FPS is listed up in the top right-hand corner. 
Now you could always throw Botticera or something on here, but I like having a full-blown operating system. Especially with this operating system, you can just go into their software center and pretty much download any emulator that you want to play. Everything's there. You got RetroArch. Now I did notice this cutscene does not work, but when we get into gameplay, it runs almost flawlessly. So most definitely a lot of Android devices struggle with this game. Pretty much everything does unless you got a really decent computer. And as you can see, we're sitting steady at 60 FPS. So you shouldn't have any trouble playing any PSP games. This is the hardest PSP game to emulate and it's doing it pretty good. I'll just give a little more gameplay. Now I have a built-in speaker on this computer my sound is routing through that. I need to fix that so it routes through my HDMI. Other than that, everything works. I have Bluetooth hooked up with the dongle, Wi-Fi, the um, display port to HDMI. Everything works great. And I'm using a Razer Serval controller. It's a Bluetooth controller and it connected right up with this unit. So we'll get out of here, go to the software center, and I just want to show you some things that are here. We'll go to gaming on Solace, role playing, console emulators. There's a dedicated section. Now I've yet to test PlayStation 2. I will do that in a later video. I just wanted to show you guys this up and running. If you guys want a tutorial made on how to install Solace, I can definitely do that. You can run it from a USB drive but I prefer installing it to an SSD or an internal hard drive. So it pretty much runs on any system. You're not gonna get the performance that GameCube just gave me or PSP if you have a lower end system, but there's a lot of emulators that will work better on an x86 platform. Like always, thanks for watching.